Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, our war continues. We are landing troops on planets as they become ready for occupation. And so we're going to continue working through that. I'm also throwing down a lot more claims on enemy territory because I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be the last war that I'm going to fight with one of my neighbors. So I might as well take as much as I can get. So that's a, gonna be a thing we're gonna keep working on. And in fact, it was suggested that I grab this, this system here. And sure, yeah, that's something we can definitely do. You can throw that one in there and you know what? Might as well just go ahead and grab the whole constellation. There we go. So, let's just run through who's doing what and where they are. As much as the game will let me. All right, the fifth fleet. You should be getting to bombing something. Come on. I thought you already were. This is being bombed, but the devastation is not really that great. So we'll get our fleet over there. And we'll show our vassals how it's done. Seventh Fleet, I know what you're doing. You're basically just parked. The Twelfth Fleet, you need to finish. Grabbing a few systems. Check my current operations. They are assaulting our spaceport. All right, that is going to take a bit still. So is this, where are you at? Still a ways to go. Devastation's at 94%, 95%, so it's getting there. This, yeah, this is gonna take a long time to grind down. Now, where were you going? You were going to the Cousins system. 
Let's see where they are at in terms of their progress. Not quite ready to go yet. And you are moving your way towards the Panasu system. Yeah, we got a bit to go. Now, there is one thing I think it would be a good idea to do. Because we've got the Behemoth Planet Craft here going. We've got the Hyperforge here going. And we've got the Giga Forge down there going. Right? So I have one open space for another mega structure. Just giving everything a quick once over. Looks all right. Central Exiles have completed an interstellar assembly. So let's find. We're going to need one more Behemoth Planet Craft, right? I believe so. Let's scroll down here. Epsilon Eridani 2. Beginning attack run on enemy station. As a behemoth planet craft candidate. And it is a worthless planet. Scientific so breakthrough achieved. That is perfect. You. You're a giga industrial ship. You're stinking slow, but you can jump. Keep working on the cheap one. All right, you come over here. You only build upgrade four mega structures at a time. Okay. I can only think of th oh. Yes. This one. I forgot about that one. Oh well. Well, at least we know what planet we're going to be turning into a, a behemoth planet craft. And there is a construction vehicle in that system that is ready to go as soon as something is done.
have a lot of armies. These guys have landed troops. Well, good luck to them. There isn't any way I'm, I'm going to be able to get any of my own troops into this. I don't think I can. I can try. Hopefully they can hold out for a few days. Because I would rather not this be a loss. You know what? If I lose some troops, I lose some troops. All right, reinforcements have arrived. It is going to burn through their troops first, so hopefully by that time it gets through to our guys, the enemy is pretty well exhausted. some of our xenomorphs oh that's a titanic beast i'd rather not lose those i don't remember where they came from ah rivia i see Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, what do we got? Admin capacity. This will go with leader lifespan.
Seems it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that we're going to win that fight. Alright, let's take a look at the other... The other armies, is anybody even close? Not there yet. Nope. Nope. Keep on working on it. All right, where are we at? There's some our troops are kind of taking over the lead here. Hoping that all that army morale and army damage that I've been taking makes a difference here. Potitians display psionic potential. The Potitian Corporation. All right. Cool. Battle is joined. Battle. Two destroyers, eight corvettes, and two cruisers. That's fine. All right, this fleet has taken care of all of its business, so we're going to go ahead and park them over a planet. So far, so good. We have more width than they do. Hit points, credit energy credits from jobs, resource storage. Um, we're gonna take energy weapon damage. anything to disengage units get those enemy units off the front line before worrying about the rest all right you are now in the panacea system double check the planet still gonna hold
Alright, two enemy units left on the front line. Yep, that's that's a win. We shouldn't lose anything there. Have the pilgrims merged yet? Yes, they have. ships oh some transport ships they made the unfortunate mistake of entering the system and it looks like they jumped out Yep, there we go. Yeah, then that was a good idea for us to move in and reinforce our allies. It means we turn that almost certain military defeat into a victory. All right. There we go. That system is fully occupied. How far can I jump? Uh, far enough. It would seem. I'm gonna send you over here. the army as well you guys can jump back to the cousin system because it is ready to go Oh, looks like uh, allies have already landed here. I think it just didn't register until I looked at it twice. I was like, wait a minute. All right. That's occupied, but that's not the only... Planet? 
in the system that is colonized. Looks like that is a habitat. Planet flies. We have done it. With the planet craft's main weapon race complete, this monster spaceship is now operational. Excellent. We're going to send you the bowl kill system, as I have typically done. Now we're going to the Epsilon Eridani system, and we're telling you to now build me a behemoth planet craft construction site. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. And that thing is stupid slow. But it'll get the job done. Excellent. Now we need to head over to Grasping Branch. Start working on them. doing get rid of that uh, 96 colonial watch and I think we'll be ready to go ahead and land there and how is this system progressing Still a ways. Starting to feel like a broken record a little bit. That one at least. What about this one? Uh, it's getting close. It's getting close. Here and are you bombing? Yes, you are bombing. That is ready for occupation if we had an army with which to occupy. I mean, I do, technically. I can jump these guys over, grab that planet real quick. You know what? Let's do it. Make sure I'm looking at the right armies. Yes, I am looking at the right armies. All right, very good. They are on their way. 
Ooh. Three techs? Alright. I do have an attack speed. Let's see, leader lifespan increased. Army damage, we'll take that one. And for this one, we're gonna take Tricraft damage. All right, and I think that's where we're gonna go ahead and stop for the day. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep on working on this. When we come back and just keep working on our mega structures. And uh, once we finish the current uh, Behemoth Planet Craft, then I think we'll re be ready to get started on the actual Stellar System Craft. So that should be nice. All right, well, for now, as I said, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.